Pfizer said today it's selling its Capsigel manufacturing unit for $2.4 billion to private equity firm KKR. Now, the move may be the first of many potential sales from Pfizer. And Bloomberg's Shannon Pettypiece is with us live from Washington, where she's attending the World Health Care Congress. So, Shannon, is this uh, on everyone's lips this morning? Uh, well, yeah, for investors, for the most part, they're happy with this because when the unit was a part of Pfizer, it really wasn't doing anything to drive growth, to return revenue. So now sell it off, and now Pfizer's going to take that, the proceeds, the revenue from that, and buy back shares, and investors are hoping that that will do something to revitalize Pfizer's stock price, which for the past five years, really until recently, it's just sort of been falling like a stone rolling down a hill. It really hasn't done anything. So the hope here is get this out and now maybe we'll be able to do something to move Pfizer shares a bit with this. Hmm. So Scarlett, I know you had a question here for Shannon. Yep, she's not there, so I'll ask you. So are we so, going to see any more deals uh, along the lines of this? You know, this is very likely to be the first of at least one or two. Uh, Pfizer said they're reviewing all of their business units, especially their non-pharma units. Watch for their infant nutritional business that doesn't really have anything to do with the core business. It could be easily split off. Another company split off its infant nutritionals business, and that did very well. So look for Pfizer to retrench, focus on the core pharma business, which was the company's strategy just about five years ago. The uh, last CEO came in, tried to diversify. Now we've got a new CEO. He's looking back to pharma. So we're likely going to see more of these deals to come, Margaret. All right. We'll stay tuned. Thank you very much. Shannon Pettypiece.